My warning is do not watch this video. Unless you've tried it on your own first. Okay? You guys, does that make sense? Like, do not, like, okay, now it's time to start working. Video one. That is, that is horrible. You are foolish. Do not do this. You are, you are cheating yourself out of, um, out of uh, some critical thinking here. Okay, completing statement. 80 is a what term of this sequence right here? Now, in order to find this, we're looking for n. That's what this is. That's an n. So what we need first is we need the nth term rule. So a sub n we know is the first term plus a bunch of differences. <laughs> how many differences? n minus 1 differences. That's how many differences. Yeah. So what is my common difference for this one? Actually, is it arithmetic? Yeah, it is arithmetic. What is what is my common difference? It is negative. No, no, not negative. It is positive 3, right? Right. Okay, so we're increasing by 3 each time. And that's going to be our common difference. So we're going to write this out to look like this. It's going to say... Uh, negative 7 plus n minus 1 with a 3. That equals your nth term. I'm going to go ahead and simplify this because I can. We have negative 7 plus 3n minus 3, which is the same as saying negative 7 plus, I'm sorry, negative 10 plus 3n. So this is my nth term. So what is the 80? What is 80? What number term is 80? I know, I know. Let's plug in 80 right here. And then we're going to have our negative 10 plus 3n that's how you're gonna find your term we're finding n so i subtract i'm sorry add 10 to both sides we get 90 equals 3n n equals what was that that's 30 right yeah. so there you go it's the 30th term we can put a little th here if you want to our next problem is identical except the only difference is is we have a different a sub one our, our a sub 1 on this one is 1 over 7, and we have a different common difference. What is our common difference on this one? 1 over 7. So, uh, we keep adding 1 over 7, and our first um, term is 1 over 7. So, you do the same thing. You, you find an nth term um, rule, that's this guy, and then you plug in, in this case it will be 19, and then you find what n is. That's how you do it.